Hi, I'm Tom Beach. I'm a journalist at the FinTech Times, and we're with Seamless TV in Saudi Arabia. And today I'm joined with Ahmed Hisham. Uh, Ahmed, how are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. Fantastic. Uh, so, can you just give us a, a quick introduction into who you are, what Accelerate's doing, and what your position is and what your role looks to do? Yeah, um, I'm Ahmed Hisham. I'm the chairman and co-founder for uh, Accelerate. Accelerate uh, uh, started uh, three years back. I uh, started this uh, project. Uh, it was my passion. Uh, after 18 years plus in the corporate life, I started to go and uh, uh, build my uh, dream of having my own uh, uh, company, focusing on the area that I used to uh, uh, love to uh, focus on, uh, which is the startups and establishing a new uh, business uh, in my country, in Egypt. Uh, this was very uh, quick uh, introduction. However, I can just uh, mention that uh, during this uh, journey of establishment phase, I was one of the luckiest people uh, to establish my company in 2020. And after a few days, uh, COVID-19 arrived. And it was a very uh, tough way to learn how to establish a company. Yeah, I, I can believe it. So obviously, we're at day two of Seamless. How are you finding the event so far? And what, what did you come here looking to achieve? Yeah, Seamless, uh, for me, it's my second time to attend uh, Seamless. Uh, first time in KSA, first time was in Egypt, uh, Seamless North Africa. Uh, for me, was uh, at the first time that the purpose was just to go and explore and understand uh, where uh, is the technology uh, uh, reach uh, and how can I leverage on the new updates in the market. Uh, after some time, uh, I discovered that this uh, new uh, era of updates the uh, uh, technologies uh, across the, 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 the markets uh, is the key uh, game and the key uh, point of focus for me to learn how to uh, and to learn how from others and how to uh, run the business and uh, get the most advanced uh, uh, stages in my day-to-day uh, -day, uh, business. Uh, seamless case A for me is another objective and another stage uh, where I can see another way on, and another approach of how to tackle and how to establish uh, uh, connections between uh, uh, players, uh, multinationals, uh, uh, governments, SMEs and startups, all of them in one place. This is uh, a new opportunity for everyone uh, to see and learn and build on others' experiences. This is mainly the main objective of today's uh, visit. Fair enough. So, obviously at Seamless, we're hearing all about the, the growth of Saudi Arabia. What can you tell us about the recent economic growth and development in Egypt? Yeah, Egypt is, uh, is today is in a very, very important stage. Uh, Egypt, uh, uh, Egyptians can see a great change in the day-to-day -day, uh, uh, and uh, the, how the progress happening on the government side when it comes to uh, connecting technology uh, with, uh, their, uh, uh, with the government and with the uh, uh, new establishment of any new uh, organization. Uh, Egypt infrastructure is still in the first uh, early stages of building. However, the journey started, very tough journey, cost a lot of time and cost a lot of effort and money as well. Uh, but the good point is that we started the journey. Uh, it needs years uh, and time to, uh, to build more and more and to catch uh, uh, the momentum and the progress. Uh, However, the good thing is that the belief of the government that this is the only way uh, to grow, uh, is to build the right infrastructure, is to give a chance for the private sector to be there. Uh, and uh, I'm very happy and very and believe big time on that uh, the Egyptian government are uh, is in the right track uh, to build a successful future. Uh, looking to the Saudi Arabia and looking to the Gulf, uh, the best thing is to uh, to learn from others. Learning from each other is is something very important, showing the confidence of ourselves that learning is a, a journey and a continued journey that we need to build on it. Uh, so this is how I see uh, Egypt now, and uh, I, this is how I believe that the future is uh, for this uh, Middle East area. Fantastic. So obviously you've worked for a wide range of, of banking and insurance firms. What lessons have you learned along the way in your career that you've been able to bring over to Accelerate to help its aims and what that's trying to do? Yeah, um, uh, coming from the corporate uh, companies uh, and for 18 years I learned how to uh, run uh, a, a solid operating model allowing uh, for any startup and one of the statistics that we usually 
usually hear about it that 70 plus percent of the uh, new companies uh, fail to continue in the first three years. Uh, and usually it's not the based on the financial obstacles, it's based on the management obstacles. Uh, Entrepreneurs uh, maybe are uh, maybe they are aware on the technical side, but it doesn't mean that if you are technically have the enough knowledge, that on the management side you have the same capabilities. It's very important to allocate the right people uh, in your business, the specialized people to run the business. As a chairman, does, uh, if I am the chairman, it doesn't mean at all that I am the best person to manage the financials of the company, uh, to manage the HR of the company. Uh, I believe that the specialization is the key to run any kind of business. The role of giving the chance of, for others uh, who have the capabilities to, to help you to run the business is the main uh, key changer. Uh, uh, in Accelerate, we see that uh, uh, specialization is the uh, main uh, focus. People are our assets. People are the, the main uh, uh, assets and the main uh, keys to run the business uh, in a successful uh, way. Uh, the coming years for Accelerate is uh, to give a chance for uh, new generations who have this sense of technology, who can be better than us even on uh, running the business with the new methodologies based on the uh, learning lessons that they um, collected during their journeys. This is the main uh, way we see the business, uh, how to grow. Yeah. So you've given us a, a really good sort of little insight into how tough it is for Egypt's SMEs and small businesses to, to continue and to thrive. What would you say is the biggest challenge facing them right now and how could this be solved? Okay, well, we, um, in Egypt, uh, the challenges is different somehow compared to other countries that I have to the chance to uh, read about and research about it. Uh, based on the demographics and the very big uh, different segmentations of uh, SMEs, uh, the communication is the biggest challenge. Uh, how to communicate with entrepreneurs and how to influence on their behaviors and how to deal with them based on their culture, which is very different diversified cultures between the capital and the government rates, between the generations uh, and the, 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 the different segments on the uh, demographics uh, is the key uh, uh, challenge. Uh, what we are usually trying to, uh, to share with the government and to try to uh, share with the decision makers is yes, you built a very good law, a very good, uh, nice uh, strategy, but are you sure that this strategy has been uh, cascaded and have been understood right for those different segments? Uh, this is the main role uh, for uh, the translators. We name them uh, uh, business development service providers. Uh, these uh, private uh, sector uh, or these private entities are responsible to translate and convey the message between the original law and how to convey the message for uh, those who are sitting in different uh, government rates and how to simplify the message for them, how to let them understand uh, what is the benefit for them. Uh, this is the main area of focus even for Accelerate now, is to convey the message on the right way, is to talk the same language uh, that the new generations can understand. Uh, that's uh, the main uh, area of focus for us. I see, okay. so. Talking about the role that Accelerate has played, to date, what would you say is your biggest success story? Uh, the big success story is that uh, when we started the journey, we said that uh, how can we uh, convince and how can we s let the, the small entrepreneurs appreciate the advisory role? Because uh, usually the entrepreneur can see that, yes, I understand how to run the business. I don't need this type of adv advisory to be in my life. I know how to do it. Uh, one of the main success stories is to uh, that, that I'm very proud of that the volume of uh, SMEs and entrepreneurs that we were able in very few uh, uh, days to convince them that, that our advisory role is not here to let uh, you know how to do the business. Yeah. You are the best person to how to run the business, but our role is to uh, fulfill the environment with the right uh, 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 
grow uh, and the, the right way to establish for you the momentum and the environment to run your business in the right manner. How can we share with you the right uh, uh, the learning lessons from others and to let you avoid doing what the others did wrong and help you to see the right way and uh, to accelerate for you the, the, the road for uh, a successful future. Uh, during the past years, we were able to uh, support and empower new companies with the financial support and the sustainable growth uh, model of support. Uh, as I said, that lending and getting the fund is not the only uh, way to succeed. The way is to how to, uh, to manage this fund in the right manner, how to grow in the first few days to be eligible for such kind of a stable and sustainable growth uh, model. This is for us uh, the story that we are very proud of uh, to uh, get the belief and uh, to get the trust of the financial sector to be with us in this journey and to uh, join forces to be ready to support with the lending arm or the financial support and with the management role to build the right uh, way of uh, starting uh, the journey. Uh, we succeeded to do this but the journey is very big. We still have a lot to do uh, and I'm sure that with the right uh, support and the new laws and of the government, the support that we are getting from the financial sector, we could do a significant change on this uh, uh, area. Fantastic. Well, you've given us a lot of insight into the, the landscape in Egypt and uh, obviously it's going to be a difficult time for SMEs, but hopefully uh, an exciting time as well. But I wish you the, the best of luck. Thank you very much for joining me today. We can hear Seamless kind of really kicking off for day two. So We'd like to thank Seamless and we'd like to thank uh, all the um, uh, team members who are building such kind of successful events. I can see that the right place uh, to connect. Uh, the efforts of such kind of events are uh, is having a big impact on connecting and uh, doing the right market linkage between all the key players and the, all the key stakeholders. Brilliant. Well, I'll let you enjoy day two. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Thank you, Alex. Thank, Thank you. you.